Hey y'all, and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Woo! Living life with Leticia, that's me. Today we are going to talk about, we need to talk about you. And how are you doing? Because sometimes you kind of get lost in the shuffle there. We all get that way. And I think, you know, I do too. Um, I'm kind of like an introvert, kind of, sort of. And I used to feel like people looked over me because I was meek, mild, or wouldn't talk up or didn't say a whole lot to a lot of people. And um, so I started kind of speaking up a little bit, maybe, you know, making more, you know, not necessarily more noise, but you know I'm here. Okay. So once I started doing that, I started feeling better about myself and about how uh, others see me. Uh, but I can hang with the rest and the best. You understand me? You don't know me until you know me. And a lot of people hate on people because they don't know them. We'll get to that later on. That's coming. But let's just talk about trying to be the best you you can be. Because um, life is definitely short. People are not seeing their next birthday. And if they are, it, it, it's coming in with a different flavor. So um, if you're not feeling like you're being the best you you can be, you need to, first of all, pray about it, turn it over to God and say, Lord, look, <laughs> I'm trying, but this ain't working for me. So I need you to tell me what to do. And the Lord can hear you and he will answer your prayer. So best believe that you call him, he gonna answer you. He may not come when you want him, but he's right on time. That's number one, call on the Lord. And then number two, so say, for instance, you called on the Lord. You ain't got no answer yet. He didn't answer the phone. He sent you the voicemail. That means that sometimes we don't always give him what he wants. He wants our time. Well, let's rewind. We think that the Lord sent our message or our call to voicemail because why he didn't answer it we thinking he didn't answer it he didn't hear me uh i'm in the voicemail loop so now i gotta leave a voicemail lord be your humble servant down here that don't hardly ever talk to you but i want you to bless me lord bless me bless me bless me bless me bless me and then when you get through blessing me bless my family and then come back to me and bless me some more well no, the Lord wants some of your time too. You don't just get the blessings and he don't get nothing. He wants you to give him some of your time. He wants you to pray. He wants you to read the Bible. He wants you to learn the scripture too. He wants you to give him a little more time than what you give him. So maybe it's your conscience that's telling you your call is in voicemail and your blessing is already on its way because the Lord hears you. Now, I have been known to pray and get up with it. So that's just me. And so I didn't even leave no message. Actually, I left a message, but I deleted it before it was left, before I hung up. So I deleted my voicemail to the Lord because I got up. Instead of leaving it to him, I brought it with me. So it's still mine. And he wants it, but we got to give it to him. He can't take it from us. And when I'm preaching to you, I'm preaching to myself. But anyway, the point is, you have to be you and you have to pray about you. If you're not praying about you and you're praying about everybody else and you're praying about everybody, whoa, wait, wait a minute. They got something wrong with them over there. So, pray about yourself. That's all we can control is us. The Lord's got control over everybody else. Now, you can pray about those other people, but don't 
get to where you just, uh, I can't make it because I, you know, they doing over there, they doing this and that to me. <sighs> haters gonna hate, players gonna play. And the haters, when the haters are out and they hating on you, it seems like there's nothing else around but what they talking about and you are involved because they are hating on you. But just a couple of months ago, they was hating on another person and they felt the same way, but we didn't give them no second thought because it wasn't us either. So sometimes it only affects you when it affects you. And that's not how the Lord wants us to be. But I want you to be the best that you can be. Be the best version of you. The best version of you. Because you can't walk around here trying to be like somebody else. You can't walk around here trying to pretend that you're someone else. Because that mask will come off and that portrayal that you've got going on is going to be gone down the tunnel. Or tunnel. Toilet. Twirling. It's gone. But anyway, the Lord loves you. And you have friends and family that do so as well. Be blessed or be a blessing. But be you. Be you. It's going to be beautiful. And you see who you are. So be blessed or be a blessing. Love you guys.